Did you know that Google has a secret AI lab where you can get access to well over 35 plus AI tools that Google is currently developing and not available to the public yet? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to access Google Labs and get instant access to all these 35 plus AI tools completely for free. Yes, you heard it correct. You don't have to pay anything to use these tools from Google. And the thing is that not a lot of people actually know about this platform or all the tools within Google Labs. So definitely make sure to watch the video till the very end to learn how to get access and all the AI tools available within Google Labs. So let's quickly get started. All right. So this right here is Google Labs and this is the platform that I've been talking about. And as you can see, it says the home for AI experiments at Google. So basically, it is a platform that gives you access to all the latest AI tools that Google is currently developing and it is not publicly released yet. So basically, it is not available to the general public yet. But if you head over to labs.google or click the link in the description below, you will land on this page right here and you can get access to these unreleased tools via this particular website. So first thing first, head over to labs.google. So this right here is the address of the website. And as you can see, it is the home for AI experiments at Google. And now if I scroll down, I'll be able to find a couple of these highlighted tools, what this platform is all about, the events, the community gallery, and a lot of stuff. And now we are specifically interested in all different AI tools that are available within the platform, right? Well, to see all of that, all you gotta do is to click this option right here that says experiments. And now it will open up a new page listing all the tools or all the experimental tools that Google is currently developing. And you can get access to all these tools from this website or let's say this page right here. So it says tools for anyone to create, learn, develop and play with the future of AI. And towards the top, you have a couple of these categories like all, create, develop, explore, learn and play. And all these cards that you see on the screen are individual AI tools that you could access right within labs.google. So first of all, if I click on this create option, here we can find a couple of these tools. First of all, we have Music AI Sandbox, which is an experimental suite of tools designed to enhance the creative process for musicians, producers, and songwriters. And one more thing to note here is that underneath each of these tools, we will have a CTA or button to access the tool. And now for each tool, the button is going to be different. For example, if you want to use Doppel or Flow, you have Create with Flow or Try it Now button. But for Music AI Sandbox, you have a Learn More button. That means Music AI Sandbox is not even publicly available within this platform. So if you click on this learn more button, it will open up a Google form and you will have to express your interest, fill in all these details and then send a request and someone from Google will review your request and you will get access to it. So for any AI tool here, if you find a button, something like learn more, it means that that particular tool is in waitlist and you'll have to send a request to be a part of that waitlist. And once access is granted, you'll be able to use it. But for these tools like Doppel Flow and all that, it is currently available and you can start using it right away. For example, here we have Doppel. Doppel is a new experimental app from Google Lab that lets you try on any look and explore your personal style. And then here we have Flow, then we have Sparkify, Ask Photos, Image Effects, Video Effects, Whisk. And in the Develop tab, we have Stacks, Synth ID, Detector, Stitch, Jules. I mean, there's a lot of tools, right? And now in this video, it's not possible for me to go through each and every tools, but I'll actually open a couple of them and show you how to use all of these tools. But before that, let me really take a second to talk about our sponsors for today's video, Lumi. Imagine building a website or an app in the time it takes to send a text message. No coding, no templates, no limits. Just tell the AI what you want to build and it gets the job done. That's exactly what Lumi.new makes possible. To get started, click the link in the description below or head over to Lumi.new and sign up for free. So in the input box, just describe the app that you want to build. For example, let's say a personal blog, a landing page for your startup, or even a full SaaS dashboard. Lumi understands your idea and instantly gets to work. But it doesn't stop here. With the toolbox, you can integrate powerful features like database, authentication, file storage, email services in just a single click. You can also use the enhanced prompts button to fine tune your request and apply a styling option to match your brand or design preference. Within seconds, Lumi will start building your project and on the right side of your screen, you will see a live preview of the same. From here, you can use the workspace to manage everything from users to email services to file storage, making it easy to scale your app without extra step. And if you need any changes, well, just give follow-up prompts to add new features or customize the app however you want. And once you're happy, you can hit the publish button in the top right corner to make it live instantly. And the best part, Lumi is currently free to use and with my exclusive code, you will also get an extra 5% benefit. So if you want to build and launch powerful web apps with AI, just head over to lumi.new and start creating today. 
and now back to the video now let's quickly go over some tools within google labs and also show you how to use the same and again one more important thing that you will have to keep in mind is that not all the tools within google labs is currently available in all countries for example this tool right here that is google stacks is not currently available in my country so if i click on this try now option right here it says sorry stack is not available in your region yet well, in this case, all you're going to do is to just use a VPN and you will get instant access to the same. So you can set the region as US and reload the page and the website should load without any problem. For example, in this case, I enabled a VPN and connected to a US server. And as you can see right now, I get access to the stacks website and there you go. I can now create a new project and get going from here. So just in case, if any of these tools is not available in your country or region, all you're going to do is to use a VPN. And now let's try to open and use a couple of AI tools right within Google Labs. For example, if I click on this create option, here we have flow, video effects, whisk. Okay, we have a lot of them in here actually. For example, let's say I want to use flow. So flow is a new AI filmmaking tool that lets you seamlessly create cinematic clips, scenes and stories with consistency using Google's most advanced AI models, including VO3. Okay. So I'll click on this button that says create with flow. So there you go. Here we have opened up flow right within Google Labs. And it also says new users can now try flow free of charge with 100 monthly credits. And I can find a create with flow button. So I'll click on the same. And let's see. Okay, flow, a new state of creation. And now it is asking me to sign up for a new account. So I'll select my Google account just like that. Okay, I'll click on get started. And there you go. So right now we are in Google Flow. And now to create a new project, I'll click on this new project button right here. And before that, what exactly is Google Flow you ask? Well, Flow is actually a AI powered video generation website. But the interesting thing about this particular platform is that you will be able to create a video scene by scene and you can create a full length movie. For example, let's say you want to create a short film of let's say one minute or two minute. You can now ask the AI to create individual scenes. So as you can see here, we have a text input box and an option that says text to video, frame to video and ingredients to video. So right now we will keep it in the text to video option. And let's say in your short film, you have, let's say like 18 different scenes. I know you can give prompts for each of these scenes individually in this box right here. And you can stitch all these scenes together and get the file movie. For example, let's start with a simple prompt in here. For example, let's say two puppy playing with a ball in a beach side so this is like let's say a simple prompt i will use the model that is vo3 fast landscape output all that looks good and now all i gotta do is to click on the send button right here and now as you can see google flow is now generating the video for this particular prompt right here and after that is done you will see a preview of the same in here and once that is finalized you can now go ahead and create the next scene by giving a prompt in here and flow will automatically stitch them together and once done you can download the final video in which case let's wait for the ai to create the first video so there you go we have the first video ready and now i can play the scene we even have sound effects that's good okay so this right here is the first video and this video actually looks good and if you want to you can actually download it or view the video in full screen and now let's say i'm actually satisfied with this particular scene right here and now i'll click on this button that says add to scene okay and now that particular scene is added next up let's just say i want another frame where the owner is playing with these puppies so i can go ahead and say owner walking to two puppies playing with the ball and walking towards the beach just some random uh, prompt for the time being and now i'll click on the send button and now as you can see Flow is creating the second video and here we already have the first video and here we have the second video and if you want to you can extend it you can click on this plus button right here to extend the clip jump to a particular clip and you can actually go ahead and start building your movie like this so you give a prompt and you add scene after scene and once you're happy with the result you can click on this download button right here to download the final video so that is basically how google flow works and another thing is that you can instantly get access to flow by heading over to labs.google so in which ways I'll wait for the AI to complete creating the second scene as well. So there you go. Here we have the second scene ready and this writer is the second scene. And let me play it real quick. Okay, so that also looks good. So in a similar fashion, you can keep building scenes after scenes. And once you're happy, you can download the same. And that's basically how Google Flow works. 
and now i'll close the same so if you want to access google flow you can just head over to google apps and use it yourself and now here we have google doppel and if i click on the same it seems like it is an app for android and ios so basically the idea here is that you'll be able to upload a photo of a garment and also a photo of you and you can actually virtually try on the cloth so that's basically the idea next up we have sparkify so it says explore short videos created with the latest google ai innovations including gemini and vo we have image effects video effects whisk okay so all of these are there in the create one next up let's just move to the develop tab and we have something called a synth id detector so basically the idea here is that you'll be able to upload an image audio file or video to this particular tool right here and google's synth id detector will analyze the image or whatever stuff that you uploaded and will tell you if this is an ai generated one and if I click on this learn more button, it seems like synth ID is currently in a waitlist. So you will have to fill in this form and they have to give you an access manually. Next up, we have Google Stitch. So it says turn simple prompts or images into intricate desktop, mobile UI designs and front end code, then refine via AI chat and export to Figma. And if I click on this try it now button, I'll be able to access the same. And again, I have already created a dedicated video about Google Stitch. And if you want to watch the video, just click the link in the description below or I button above. So basically the idea here is that you will be able to give simple text prompts and turn it into a full fledged UI. For example, let's say I want to create a UI for a music streaming app, a UI for a music streaming app. So in this case, I just gave a simple, very basic prompt. So in your case, you can actually give a very detailed and elaborative prompt with all the elements that you want within your UI and okay, experimental mode and standard mode. Okay, I'll keep it in experimental mode. You have the option to create UI for web app and mobile app. So in this case, I'll keep it as mobile and you also have the option to upload a sketch mockup or visual inspiration. So just as to show you the demo, I'll give a simple prompt and I'll click on the generate design button and let's see what happens. And there you go. It says to design a music streaming app, we could consider the following screens. That is a home screen, search screen, library screen and now playing screen. And yeah, that looks good. And if you want to add any more screens, you can just go ahead and describe that in here. But this looks good for now. So I'll click on this design all the screens option. And within seconds, the screens will be ready. In which case, let's wait for it. All right. So all the four screens are ready in here. So this is what the AI built by giving a simple prompt like this, a UI for a music streaming app. So here we have the home screen, search screen, library screen, and also now playing screen. And now if you want to, let's say, make any changes, you can click on this edit button towards the top and you can go ahead and give follow up prompt to make any changes, change the color palette, styling. And if you click on this button right here, you'll be able to get the code for that particular screen and you can even copy the design to Figma as well. So that is basically how Google Stitch works. So that is also one more tool that is available within Google Labs. And next up here we have Jules, an asynchronous AI coding agent that automate tasks within GitHub workflows like bug fixes, writing tests and adding new features. And if I click on this try it now button, there you go. It has opened up the same and it says Jules does coding tasks that you don't want to do like bug fixes, version bump, fixing code, test, and all that so it is actually publicly available and if you want to use it all you got to do is to click on this try jules button sign up for a new account and you can start using it right away and next up we have ai first collab help me script firebase studio which is again a ai coding platform that allows you to build full stack apps using firebase next up here we have project mariner so project mariner is a research prototype exploring the future of human agent interactions and starting with browsers okay Next up, we have AMO, Daily Design, Project Astra. I mean, there's a lot of tools that you can explore within Google Labs. And again, if I was about to, let's say, open and explore all these tools in this video itself, the video will be easily at least, you know, two to three hours long. So yeah, this is all I wanted to show you about Google Labs. I know if you to want to get instant access to all these tools, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to labs.google and you can sign up for a new account and start using it right away. And again, if any of these tools are not available in your region, just use a VPN and connect to the US region and you should be pretty much good to go. I know that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. So there's a platform called as Google Labs that gives you instant access to a lot of AI tools that currently Google is developing and you can access it completely for free by heading over to labs.google. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.